He had this picture taken just after he opened in 1948. Walter Loveless was in his early 20s, and he traded a car for the shoe store. I thumbed it, I rode buses, and I walked part of the way over here. So it's a good thing that Walter was in the shoe business because he's worn a few pair out during the past 55 years in the same location where he began on Southwest 29th Street. From there back here. It was 10 foot wide and 20 foot long. Huh. The store's gotten a little bigger over the years. This is ladies' orthopedic shoes. Ladies' and men's tennis shoes. And on the right would be your men's work shoe department. Now the Loveless right. family business now occupies most of the city block. Men's work shoe warehouse. But if you have problem feet, then Walter probably has something to fit you somewhere in the back. If you need a special shoe belt, he can do that too. Or his son can next door. These are ordered for the custom-made footwear. For... You see that foot right here? Even if you need to know what's wrong, over the years, Walter has learned just about everything there is to know about shoes and the feet that fit them. We abuse our feet considerably, and uh, people don't realize how important a correct fitting shoe is to the feet. He still enjoys coming to work. He still enjoys working with feet. Walter Loveless is long past the days of walking or hitching a ride to his shop. But you get the feeling his feet could still carry him if he wanted them to. In Oklahoma City, Galen Culver, News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what?